Hello, Minecrafters, and welcome to... Hmm. Welcome to the Lucky Draw. Alright, so we're going to test out a different pack. And we're going to give this a few episodes, and I'm going to let you choose. Um, I say five episodes. We'll try this, see how it goes... We'll let you decide whether we stick with this, whether we go to something else, or whether we go back to the Direwolf 20 pack. So, without further ado, welcome to Regrowth. This is an HQM pack. It has... Quest book. So, this is an HQM pack. This has quests that you can play and things like that. So what I'm going to do is next I'm going to show you how to load this with the Feed the Beast launcher. So I'll cut to that and then we'll come back here to our world here and see if we can figure out what on earth we're doing. So without further ado, here's how it's done. Okay, so here we have the Feed the Beast launcher that we all know and love. And this is where we normally launch from in order to play the Direwolf 20 series that we've been working on. And uh, so if you go over to the third party packs, and this is one that I've been playing on Twitch TV, I was looking through here and could not find the um, regrowth pack and then I found out you have to go over here to pack codes click here and put in regrowth and so whenever you do that and click add if you scroll down to the bottom here you will now have the regrowth mod so click here and we can see what happens when nature goes missing? How will you work to recover it? Regrowth is an HQM-based pack without the common hardware aspect where you seek to solve these problems. Or, excuse me, common hardcore, not hardware. Sorry, I've been looking at computer parts. Uh, you'll start in a wasteland and eventually have the means to create a thriving magical and technical infrastructure. This pack contains the following mods by default. Um, I'm not sure. Huh. Unknown. By unknown. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any changes to the mods. I don't think there's a map. And I am, am in real life, as well as in Minecraft, directionally challenged. And honestly, I'm just now looking at these right along with you. Um, interesting. So, basically, we are going to go from here. And we're going to launch it. And uh, I'll have to cut to a different video because I'm having to do this in pieces because the the sizes and things like that. But I wanted to show you how to get that up on the launcher. And so... Now we'll head on to the launch. Okay, this is our next screen that came up after pressing launch. I'm going to try and talk over the music because I can't adjust the volumes yet. So there you go. Um, anyways, it says, Welcome to Regrowth. Warning, many recipes are changed from what you might expect to be the norm. Read the quest book carefully and check any eye for recipes. This pack also disables vanilla farming. Crops must be placed on AgriCraft's crop sticks. Starting in an ocean biome is not recommended as many early game resources do not spawn there. This pack is a WIP, which stands for Work in Progress, alpha version, and not everything is completely playable yet. You can disable this screen from showing up in the launch GUI uh, graphical user interface 
dot cfg config file. Dun dun dun. All right. So now we're going to continue on to the game. I'll catch you in just a minute. Oh, looks like we can go straight there. Okay. Um, single player. Sure, why not? Select a world. Let's create one. New world. This will be regrowth. YouTube. Uh, survival. Let's go to more world options. And seed. Yeah, that'll work. Because, see, if this works out well, forever, this will be the seed. If it doesn't work out well, we know who to blame. <laughs> All right, uh, cheats off, bonus chest off, world type default, generate structures on. I would say we're done and create the world. No idea what's going to happen. Loading world, converting world, building terrain. Do, 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 do. Building terrain. Building terrain. Apparently, it is slowly building terrain. Which sounds a little bit like it's going to rain. And here's our world. Now, I am going to do a quick cut screen so I can change resolution sizes and get this set up a little better. All right, so now you can see how we got our world. Um, I've watched one person's video. Uh, they had, I think I saw maybe three or four videos about it, so I have not seen much at all. Basic materials and processing. Mariculture. Tinker's Construct. Yay. And HQM, which is the hardcore questing mode. And like it said in the beginning, the hardcore part of this has been cut off. But it's basically being used for the quest system, which looks something like this. Um, for instance, Interference unlocks one quest elsewhere. So when you go in here, you need to kill a total of one. So you're going to have to, or I guess you don't have to actually have the pearl, but you have to kill an Enderman. And once we do that, this will light up. We can turn it in, and you'll see how that goes. So let's start off, because there's no way I can kill an Enderman right now. Let's start off punching trees. This desolate world seems littered with these dead trees and these gray boulders of slate. Hey, relatives! You think you may be able to salvage some materials from them with your bare hands. On closer inspection, the small stumpy trees seem to have been burnt to charcoal. So we have to get 10 dead wool, 4 charcoal, and 7 splint. 7 flint. And... Okay, we're a little past noon. And if you ever need to know which direction the sun's going, just put your cursor on it and see which way it goes. And when you run all the way up, then that's noon. So, let's get going. Now, my understanding, uh, and, and granted, I don't know a whole lot about this setup, but from what I have been able to read over... You know, a couple of hours of research and all that. This is a heavily modded, or not hot, heavily modded, heavily configured mod pack. And what I mean by that is, whenever they do mod packs, they can go in and change uh, configuration files and put in scripts and things like that. And 
from what I understand, there has been quite a bit of that done. Um, for instance, like they said um, about the no vanilla planting. So you have to use the little sticks, which honestly I'm going to have to find out how to do. Ah, shoot. Let off forward before letting off shift. Like that. So, like for instance, on this dead wood from Quadrum, Quadrum, we're getting, as you can see it falling, we're getting dead wood, we're getting sticks, and we're getting coal. Let's see, so we've got all of that. We need four charcoal and seven splint. And we have two charcoal. And the sun is coming, going down. I have no idea what the um, mobs are going to be like. I did notice from the quick scroll through that Ender IO is in here and Ender Zoo, which means concuss concussion creepers and Ender mini Ender minis, and so. I'm a little concerned, and I know I've got more flint than I need. I just, uh, I've got to finish out this little area. And hopefully we can get the rest of what we need here. Now I want to get as much as I can before dark. And I already know I'm going to have to dig in somewhere to wait out the night. Which will probably involve a cut screen. Which is okay. I mean, it's, you know, we never do that. This is the fourth one. Already? Okay, so as you can see, we have our dead wood. We have our charcoal, and we have our flint. So we can come here, claim the reward. We will get 12 apples, and we'll get a little sound. That's just such a fun little sound. All right, so next is grasping at straws. Uh, on closer inspection, some small amounts of grass, though dead, still remains in this wasteland. Maybe you'll be able to find some seeds or other useful materials amongst the dead, dry strands. So we're going to need floral fertilizer, clay, bone meal, bone meal, <laughs> pasture seeds, and belladonna seeds. Let's look at the other one. Such a tool. Um, the materials you've scrounge, scrounged from the boulders and dead trees should be sufficient to make some rudimentary tools. And so we're going to have to have four wooden tool rods, a wooden binding, two flint axe heads, a flint pickaxe, and two flint shovel heads. Hmm. Let's try for this. Because, oh no. What can I get real quick? I gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta get underground. Bad stuff's gonna come. Oh no, it's sundown. Mama always said they want nothing worth, no reason to stay out until midnight because that's just when all the bad things come out. I wonder if Mama played Minecraft. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Because I got nothing I can put over my head. Maybe I should have made the tools first. Lessons learned in Minecraft. Hopefully, if I can get down here and out of the way, even if something is around, they won't see us. Extra Biomes XL. Well, there's stone. Okay. 
Um, let's go back to our book. Back out of here. Okay, mental note. When you do this, you will want to go with this first. All right, wooden tool rod. Wooden tool rod. Wooden tool rod. Oh, that's tough. So... Next, one binding, two axe heads. Wooden, 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 wooden binding. Okay, so that and that. Flint axe head. Three and I need to do that twice. What was next? Pickaxe head, flint shovel head, two of them. Okay, that's a spider. Spider got me messed up. I forgot what I needed. Uh, flint pack, flint. Pickaxe head and shovel head. Wonder if I can guess. Shovel head. And I needed two of those. And the pickaxe head? Yep. Alright. Um so I've got that. I'll get this. Wide guard. Oh shoot. I can't remember which one goes to which. Um cross guard, hand guard. Oh no, detection task. Combine parts. Oh crap, I gotta make them do. Alright, combining parts in a crafting table. Dun, 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 dun. The materials you've scrounged from the boulders and dead trees shouldn't be sufficient to make some... Oh, I've already read that. Combining parts in a crafting grid will make the tools. Pickaxe, tool rod, binding, pickaxe head. Okay, so tool binding, that, and that, hey, and the hatchet, shovel, flint, matic, shovel, tool rod, shovel head, hatchet, tool rod, axe head, matic. Tool rod, shovel head, axe head. Okay, so put you there. I want that. I want that. And that. Now I can claim reward. And that might be the regular sword. I'll just go with that. And claim reward. And so, as you can see, we have unlocked this and this. However, right now, I'm going to use this. So that I can take... Hello, Spidey. And do... take that one out. Alright, so now the only thing I should have to worry about is something that's just little. Like an Ender Mini. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, uh, next on our quest. Early possessions. With a bit of dirt, you can grow stuff. Yeah. And with a bit of stone, you can build stuff true. What more do you want? Um, a fully running AE system so that I can sort all the stuff I'm going to have to dig? I guess I don't get that. Ah, maybe these can be found in the subterranean environment. 
32 cobblestone, 32 dirt. Stone. Pickaxe. Make cobblestone. No wonder. Okay. That is an actual tinker's construct. Tool. Mining speed, modifier. Wow, three modifiers. And I just realized I heard an ender mini. Hopefully, they are non-aggressive unless you smack them. Normally, that's the way they are. So, we're going to hope that that has not been changed. And something else I need to do... My F7. Um, charcoal. I don't know how much I need or how much I'm going to have access to, so only make it as I need it. And here we have dirt. So, kind of interested in uh, seeing how this turns out. Um, having played Material Energy Hypercubed, and um, I once toyed around with Crash Landing, and I'm apparently really, really bad at Crash Landing. Or the secret is you've got to have somebody else there with you, because I tried playing around with it solo, and oh, wow. I'm glad I was by myself so that no one could see me die that much of thirst. It even got to the point where I would cheat water in and still could not stay hydrated. So, I gave up on it. Um, normally, I'm you know pretty decent on that kind of thing, but... Nope. Whole bunch of nope. Alright, another torch. Right about there. Um, hey, all we need is a couple more dirt, and we're good to go. We should be able to turn that in now. Yep, okay, we have our 32 and 32. Our rewards are going to be 32 stone and 32 dirt. And then we get to pick one of these. Um... I like marble better. All right, so we have this completed. And so it looks like now we're going to have to either go here or here. We have bone meal. How did I? Oh, my. Um, okay, so on to Tinker's Construct. Because I don't have a sword yet. And days be a creeper knocking at my door. As you can see. Yup. My luck. As you can see. Alright, so what have we got if we go one space over this way? Grab that all up. Throw up our last torch here. And we're home. Okay, so let's look at this direction. Basic tools are all well and good, but you feel that, or you feel you should put together a workshop of sorts with the means to make yourself better tools upon the materials becoming available. So, any logs you may need, or you... Come on, mouth work. Any logs you may need might be able to be substituted for a constructed block of dead wood. Nine dead wood planks together, or try nine dead... What was that? You'll be able to make a crafting table by crafting a hatchet with a plank. Though, due to limitations, the hatchet must be fully repaired to do so.
Huh. That's kind of neat. Okay, so apparently we can take this. Mm, I'll place it there. And these to make a block. And I'm guessing this is going to be right. All right. So we'll take and put that there. Put that there. We got our part builder. Then that. Yep. Uh, take those down. Put this around here. That. Gonna need another crafting table. Go home, Ender Mini. And that one. So, is that our quest? Ah, furnace. Um, okay, I got cobblestone enough for that. I just can't drive my mouse. There we go. And we can claim this, get more deadwood charcoal, and a full guard pattern. And our fun little tune. All right, so we've got everything. Okay, now this one says unlocks a quest elsewhere. So as you can see, it hasn't unlocked anything else here. But if we back up, I'm betting if we, yeah. Scroll down here, this has now been opened. Number eight, the encoding of the world. Some life forms have the potential for great growth. Maybe you should help them along to increase their chances of surviving in this harsh world. Which it says that nothing's available yet, so I don't know why it opened it. I guess they like teasers. So I'm going to end up having to go out here and do this. Um, hey, looks like everyone's going to see going to get to see me die. Um, yeah, part builder, tool station, I'm going to put tool station here, part builder, diorite. Don't know what that is. Okay, and then take you, put you down there, and you there. How do I always miss that? You go there. Oh, wait. Cool, it's still got access to it. That's neat. Okay, um, hmm. And across the way, I will put you. Now got a bunch of this. Cracked sand, dead wood. Are you going to give me charcoal? Because I don't know how... Well, I guess I can get that from the trees. Three. Nice. Alright, um... So... Get on the right grid here. Don't know how much it's going to take. But... We'll just let all that run through and... How did I end up putting cracked sand in there? Grabbed the wrong stuff. Okay, we'll let all that run through and see what happens with that. Um, oh, right, sword. Um, dun, 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 dun. Now I've got that and that. So let's pull up. Yay. Sword. 
excellent blade. And can I just use a stick there? Ah, sure can. Flint broadsword. Uh, attack three hearts. Modifiers remaining three. I haven't heard that sound in a while. And... Wow. Yep, I sure did. I threw all my stuff in there. So now I can't make a chest. Come on, Spidey. Are your Spidey senses tingling? Okay. One dead spider. So apparently we are supposed to go on a hunt for grass seeds. Too bad I wasn't looking for an eyeball. I've already got that. Um, so... Yeah. Let me whack the grass with my apple. Oh, Lord. Hmm. And now I've got to kill him. But I am not prepared for that yet. We'll just let him be for now. And I can barely see this stuff that they're calling grass. Dead yellow grass. More than anything, I'm just kind of walking around and whacking stuff and seeing if it might, you know, give up something. So, tell you what, I'm going to cut and because I'm not really seeing anything from this. All right, where'd my hole go? I think I had better mark this. Um, do -doom, do -doom, do -doom. All right, uh, we got that there, so we'll take this. What? Where is the day gone? Okay. Um, well, I'm getting ready to have to go back in. Tell you what, I'm going to cut and I am going to farm for seeds. Oh, there's a belladonna. Floral fertilizer. Interesting. Uh, but anyways, I'll be right back once I hopefully get some of this done and probably have to wait out the night and come back out and try and figure out what I'm going to eat. And But I'll be right back. And I will say that as a quick aside, while digging down, I hit this and I happened to see this out of the corner and then realized I have stumbled upon... An abandoned mine shaft, which I'm I guess that's a good thing. I'm honestly not real sure because there's a creeper or something over there. I'm gonna grab this because um, I am just not equipped for that right now. Um, so yeah, fun times that should be interesting. Let's see if it's daylight yet. Hopefully it is, and I can go back to getting those seeds, so I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, um, and it took a full day. As you can see, the sun setting. So I'm going to haul on back, and then we can get this turned in, and then I believe we will wrap up this episode. Back into the hole. Close up the hole. And eat an apple. So yeah, the cut-in earlier was 
since it was dark out and I couldn't go out anyways, I had started digging down this way. Just to gather resources and see what all was to be seen, and, well, that's the block I put so that Mr. Creeper couldn't come back up through. All right, so we'll get back up here, turn in our quest, and move on. Okay, uh, pasture seeds will let you grow dirt into grass. Well, that's mighty nice of you. So we're going to get potato seeds, carrot seeds, and seeds. Seeds, seeds, and more seeds. Oh, and I also found some water. And uh, I thought it was going to be clay, but it ended up being salt. So, there you go. That's why I have salt. Not that, you know, I'm the salt of the earth and all that stuff. But, anyways. This has been interesting. I kind of like it. Um, which I always like new stuff, new packs, new things to learn, design, figure out. Kind of like getting back to my roots. Back in the hole. Back in the ground. Back to mining and crafting and, oh, right, Minecraft. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do make sure to, you know, try and try and make some comments. Let me know what you think of the pack. Uh, if you know anything about it, you have any experience with it, let me know if you like it um, or if you don't like it. If, uh, if you still wanted to see something on the Direwolf 20, um, let me know. And maybe we'll switch back to that and do a few things. Switch back over here. I'm not real sure. Like I said, we'll give this five episodes, and I'll let you decide. Do we stick with this? Do we go somewhere else? Um, so anyways, that is episode... Hmm. I'm not sure what I'll name it. Who wants to name it? <laughs> All right. So anyways, this has been episode one, but I'm not really sure how I want to season it because it's it's a different pack and, and all that. So we'll call it Season Q Episode 1. Or no, Season R for a regrowth. Yeah, that's it. Season R Episode 1. Take care. God bless. <laughs>